Alright y'all, what's up? Back with another sneaker video and you can see from the box it's the Jordan 36, better known as the Jason Tatum. So we call it the Jason Tatums because he is rocking them currently in the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors and it's tied 1-1 which lets you know by the time I edit this video, hopefully I'm going to catch up and do this video pretty quickly. So let me shut up, open the box and uh, get to it. Of course, you got the Velcro, Velcro on the side, the Jumpman paper with the Air Zoom because these do have Zoom and you can see the Zoom bags. Usually you can kind of see the Zoom bags through the bottom, but this is the low top version. I've never done this version on the station. It's my first pair of the low tops. I'm gonna look inside of the box real quick and see, yes, there is a stamp. So let's see. Stamp is 01-17-22-53, 01-17-22-53, give you guys the small code at the top, it's VP, dates production 06-30-21-2-01-06-22, so we know we're right on point as far as the, what's it called, our, I just recognize this has a lace lock. They don't put the lace lock on the Jordan 36. Not the low, the other one, they don't put the lace lock on that shoe. We have our dates of production and all of that information. I'm actually gonna, I'm anxious to get to the close up on this shoe. We see immediately the reference to the Jordan 6 and the insole is glued down very well into the shoe. So I can't pull that insole out. But when I do the close up, I want you guys to be able to see how the, the perforations through the insole that makes this shoe extremely breathable. You can see your fingers through this mesh. It's almost like a jacquard mesh, but the low top still has all of those kind of cues from the Jordan 6, 36-6. And in this infrared color and the Air Jordan on the back of the tongue, you have a textured uh, tongue here with the Jumpman logo. When I get to the close-up, you'll be able to see all of those things. As a matter of fact, 84, Eight. 84 and 8. Now I'm going to have to go back and actually look that up and see what the 84 and the 8 are on the small infinity logo that's here on the side. I want to see what's on this other one. Let's see if that says 84 and 8. It does say 84 and 8 on this one too. Pretty interesting. I got to look that up for certain. So those people that are always saying that, yo, you don't seem to remember stuff, I do try to look it up and put it in the videos to help out. And But, you know, this is really to give you a look and to help you kind of authenticate whatever it is that you get. I like when they put these little extra pieces here to protect certain parts of the shoe because you do have on this deck, you have a Jumpman logo and then underneath you have a Target, which is an interesting target. But you do have Nike Air at the back. It's not big and across the shoe like on the Jordan 6 but you do have that Nike Air on the back of the shoe. And then you have 36 going up. Nothing different other than the flight plate that's underfoot where it's Zoom Air. And then you have that, it's not carbon fiber, that's more of a TPU kind of uh, mid, mid foot portion to give the shoe some structure. But I really like these, and I'm dropping stuff, I really like these Jordan 36s, man. I think it's pretty cool. They went with the lace lock look, but let's get a close up so we can kind of move on to the next shoe, which we have a couple of shoes to do. So let's go close up. All right, y'all, back with a close up of the Jordan 36 Low. And you can see where it is a lower cut, but it has all of the details that we know from the Air Jordan 36. I haven't done that many of these on the channel. Um, make sure you get to see the back right there and I'm putting this way too close and then the Nike Air here and then you have these Infinity logos that are throughout the upper but this time on the Infinity logo we get this 84.8 on the side and eh, I'm not quite sure but I'm going to look it up and try to put it in the notes that show up on the side of the shoe real quick. I just want you guys to see how perforated that is. And the insole is glued down. So if you get a pair that the insole comes out really easily, you might have something that's kind of foo-foo. But 
you can see the material here. It looks like that Jack Hard material, but it's welded all the way around to give the shoe its strength. It's also welded at the toe, right? Now that infrared gives you a hint of like orange, and I have to assume that's why it's not doing very well. In the right colors and materials, this shoe, I think, will become as popular over time as any Jordan inline kind of flagship model from Jordan brand. All right, oh, I need to turn that so you guys can see what it looks like at the front. But what I wanted you to see is the texture on the tongue where the jump man is, and that's like a silicone kind of transfer, right? And then you have the lace lock on the tongue. But let's put both of these up here. Turn those, give you that 360, and let's wrap it up. But that's the Jordan 36 Low Infrared. A little bit cheaper price for this shoe. Jason Tatum in the NBA Finals against Steph Curry. He's not really having a great series so far, two games in. But I'm looking forward to the end of it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.